support for quite some time then? No, I mean, no, no. Once you hit around the level five mark, it actually becomes pretty strong. It's a biggie, ladies and gentlemen. 95% of you have voted for Fnatic. That is a clear, clear favorite. They're going to be able to try and stop them at least whenever they get the steal. Not sure. Obviously, him going in. They're going straight in. Mime is going to be the one that's getting caught out. He's going to have to flash away, but Soez is going to follow through. Rectus gets in there. This could be first blood so early on. Two minutes gone. One more shot will do it. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Reckless, two minutes in, gets first blood. The mind games from Fnatic coming in right here. You talked about how Soas didn't show anything except for himself. He wanted Super well behind. You can see only at three. He's got nothing left in that jungle. The big golem was taken away by Cyanide. Now they've got four man, three men going in towards this top lane. That's going to be the exhaust on towards Mime. They're tanking out the turret. Fnatic going to quickly trade this one out. Reckless is going to get caught out. 90 caliber net has to back away from them. That didn't get the kill. Respawns. If Fnatic goes in and takes this one again, they put Impaler in back. You see Cyanide come in. He's going to go in towards this one. Can he land the cocoon in time? He's going to force him away. There he is. Going to get locked up. That's going to be surely an easy kill for these two. It's going to take him a little while. They trade it across and give it so as. Meanwhile, down the bottom, Reckless was getting talked very, very low by Mr. Rales and Mixer. They if they can try maybe gank on the bottom lane, no, doesn't seem like they want to do anything. Oh, going on the Moops. It's Moops is going to get encountered on. It's going to be enough. They blow him. Oh, the explosive cast pulls him straight in towards Cyanide, and that is an easy pickup for Peke. But Sivir coming from behind it, can they actually try something? Can they try and come around? It's a three man move, but you can see he's just going to be able to walk away from this one. Throws out. At least he can get some farm and you know, catch off the source. Well, the dragon goes down. Reckless did teleport away at the same time. Caught by one of his infected cleavers. Whoa. Explosive cast punts him on the wall. There's going to be another power rolling through. They can't take the tower hit, though, because Moops plays defensive duty and locks him away. But now Mixer's getting caught out. Cyanide quickly sinking the fangs on him. He Troll off the map right now, but they're not really denying any vision from Super. Oh, oh nice ulti. Oh, explosive cast. Peke coming through from the race. And Moops, he's trying to get away from this one. Already used that flash. The barrel misses. He's going to have to take a lot of tower hits here. I don't think it's going to be enough though Peke should walk away from that one and again it's another double combo so as down the bottom having to use that ultimate to get away from Mimas Dominus he may try and turn this one back around to defend well they're trying to come in around the side here we do see yellow star closing the gap reckless is in there to try and clear those wave in comes Peke explosive cask he's back up oh, the nice. solar flare on towards yellow star explosive cask forces impaler on towards the tower but they've got no damage to follow it up and well it's super hot crew with their feet here and they just kill him pick up an easy kill and this is what super crew needs they have to take whatever they can actually get even a wraith camp is a big victory oh, a small victory for them. Oh, oh, the barrel rolls in from Peke, steals away the red buff. And you know what? He's been stealing everything from that jungle so far. The Wraith Camp has been his pretty much predominantly for the last hey. five minutes. Does a little dance in the middle, takes a bomb as well. He's happy, playing up to the fans. And oh. one's going to catch out. It's actually going to be Mixer. They catch out. Milam does go aggressive on this one. Sinai can repel away, but where's he going to go? He's going to go back in towards their solar flare, catches him up. They don't really have the damage on him. Flashes out of it. Is it going to be enough? No, it won't. Mr. Rallis gets the kill in there. Now Fnatic closing the gap. We do see coming around the side. Peck over the explosive cast. Catches on towards Mr. Rallis. They're grouped up hideously. Burning Agony is doing wonders here for Soas. He's going to have to back away from that one. Reckless. This super mega death bomb is not going to do enough. It's the Mecha and Photo bomb. Don't care. There's a lot of death going on. It's a 2-1 for Fnatic. They or at least try to, and maybe they can pick up the mid tower. Well, Mix is going to try and come around the side. Solar Flare is back up. Are they going to go for it? He does get the Zenith Blade on towards Soas. Solar wow. Flare will catch on towards Soas and Cyanide. Soas pulled in towards that tower. Absolute zero going across. Mime is going to have to try and slice and dice away from that one. And Super Hot Crew doing a great defensive duties on Fnatic. Back here, and instead we see Peke coming back around to the race once again. Doesn't fancy this one. Oh, oh explosive cast nearly catching Mr. Rales. They actually want to try and burst him down as the first one. And if they can manage to do that, there's not much left. Oh, getting caught. Reckless is going to be the focus. Solar Flare does land on him, and they get a good focus. There's so Mega Flame, Inferno Bomb catches on him. They get him down. Reckless is down. Cyanide's going to be the next focus. Fnatic are running oh. for their lives there, but Explosive Cast going to bounce out. Mamer pops the Dominus. So is going to be the next focus. They just back away, but the AD carries down. They can turn for the mid turret. They have Reckless, and realizing Cyanide doesn't need any help for this one. Peke is running interference just above. They are setting up for it. They're going for Baron. And Rallis is far away, he has to move all the way across the map. Subaru crew will have to engage 4v5. They're going to have to dive for this one. 
You do see Impaler's ready. He's got the smite still before. Solar Flare goes down, and they are holding on to the Baron. Will they use it out? Absolute Zero comes oh. out. He gets it. Impaler once again steals it away. And now Mr. Rallis, he's going to be joining the fight in a moment. Impaler's doing a lot of work. He's going to go down, though. Mimer's in trouble. He's going to get backed in there. Explosive Cast blows him back in. Can Mr. Rallis sort this one out? No, he can't. He's going to get locked up. Ace in the holds on to moves. Oh. That's going to be enough. It's a triple kill for Rectus. Teleport from Soaz. He's not done yet. Infected Cleaver on towards Mr. Rallis. He's going to go down. This will be the ace for Fnatic and the Gambit has played off. Everything looked so good for Subaru Crew just when they engaged. They got the tanks low, but there was a Blood Boil Reckless in the background. He didn't even get touched. He just cleaned up everything. And Fnatic, even though they didn't pick up the Baron, needed just to get someone down to start that ball rolling to back Fnatic up. But instead, Fnatic from the start, it looks actually very, very bad for them. The solar flare is a bit wasted, but once Subaru Crew actually goes in, both tanks from Fnatic are very low, and Cyanide especially has to pretty much leave the fight immediately. On the other end though, look at Reckless down here in the bottom, completely untouched, blood boil from Yellow Star, and he can just shoot on whoever he wants to. Yeah, that's it. When the AD carry is just getting free hits like that, that, that's a big, big problem for your team. We do see down on the main screen though, of course the tower was cheekily rolled back around and pushed the bottom. This is so smart by Fnatic because the top lane is pushing by itself. Oh, oh wow. that is a combo right there. Or if you were overpowered, you would call it a wombo combo. But right now it's Fnatic rolling through the in here. Bottom lane goes down. Why, why are they pulling the trigger on this one? Just accept the fact you're going to lose that mid lane inhibitor because they already lost that mid laner. How can they fight this one out? It seems to be working out quite well for them, but now again, Battle of Attrition and Super Hot Crew having to step away from this one. But M Mr. Rala is untouched so far. They do finally take the inhibitor down. Like immediately pulling on towards it. They're going to have to run around. So as had one direction, he could have gone. Oh. Mixer going in. Oh, it's a suicide remission though. And that's going to put them down. Wonderful. But Fnatic, they're going to keep on shoving. Oh, they lost all the engage right here. The bomb comes in. Will they actually go for this one? Well, Reckless taken down to half hit points, but that doesn't really matter because the tower's already gone down. Mima disappears in a matter of seconds, and Fnatic should close this game out now. Super right here now can pick up the win. So Fnatic go 5-0 and in the LCS. They will finally close the game out as the Nexus falls. And again, it was rolls than Subar crew right now. This is something they can work on though. If they find some of the right champions, maybe try and do a bit like Rocket, invent something that people don't expect, they can actually surprise them and maybe